Hi guys, let's talk about comfort in flight this time. Obviously the harness build quality and design has the major influence on your comfort in the air, but the suspension has some implications as well. Welcome to my classroom, Insights into Paramotor Geometry. This is part 8 out of more than 30. In this series, we will cover every aspect of paramotor geometry and design, so by the end of this, you will be able to decide what is the best paramotor for you. So, the suspension influences your comfort in the air in three ways. First, how easy it is to reach for your controls of the glider. Secondly, how easy it is to reach for your camera. And third, how nervous it will behave in turbulence. Let's start with the reaching for the glider controls, especially the brakes. Now, with a high suspension system, the brake toggles are at the highest position, especially with gliders with trimmers trimmed up, the, the brake toggles get really, really high and you end up basically flying like this all the time, which is pretty uncomfortable and can make your arms tired pretty soon. With the low suspension system, you have the most natural position for your arms and it's the most comfortable for sure. Reaching for the camera is just one example. I want to talk about the freedom of movement that you have in the harness. Now, with a high suspension system, you have the highly tensioned strap just next to your neck and the highly tensioned loaded straps in front of you. These are pretty solid obstacles and I found it very difficult to reach for the camera in front of you. Now, it gets a lot better with uh, gooseneck bars and a low suspension system because you have the carabiners and the strap here close to your body you can perfectly reach in front for the camera or for anything else and besides that you can raise your arm around the risers and put it in uh, put it in the middle just in case you need to open your zipper or whatever The third way how suspension system influences your comfort in flight is how nervous the glider feels in the air. There is no weight shift authority without glider feedback. It goes hand in hand. So the more weight shift authority you have, the more glider feedback you get. As I said in the previous videos, I'm a big fan of uh, weight shift paramotors. I believe getting feedback from the glider is good for your safety. For It's necessary for active piloting. But now we are talking about comfort and obviously a nervous paramotor is sort of a discomfort in flight. So let's do the final comparison. Here's the lineup. Reaching for glider control. The brake toggles are just too high uh, with the high suspension system and you have the most comfortable position with the low suspension system. Reaching for the camera, uh, it's pretty limited with the high suspension systems and you have the most freedom of movement with medium and low. Nervous in turbulence, you will have the most calm experience with high suspension system. Good in terms of comfort, you will get the most nervous experience with the low suspension system. Overall comfort, I believe the best option in terms of comfort is the medium suspension with gooseneck bars. You get pretty good comfort with the low suspension system and you get it least comfortable with the high suspension system. So guys, by this time we have covered almost every aspect of the suspension system. We've covered handling, we added power, we added speed, uh, we did the ground handling. Today we talked about comfort. Before we come to the big summary and comparison of suspension system, now it's time to disclose the secret question mark uh, suspension. That will be the topic for the next video. You don't want to miss that, so please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and should you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you and see you soon.